uh, you know, after the Army, when I came back, it took me a while to uh, get reacclimated to, to things. It took me a while to even get back into jiu-jitsu, right? Mm -hmm. um, then I started trying to get to get some competitions, and down, down in the Southwest, it's kind of tough, you know. There's good jiu-jitsu about five hours from me in Dallas, wow. but, uh, you know, in Arkansas, it's, it's pretty hit or miss, right? So there's, uh, you got West Side MMA, which is a huge gym. Um, you know, you got Bryce Mitchell, who's fighting tonight in the UFC. Uh, he's from Arkansas, he trains there. Oh, okay. Uh, otherwise, though, it's kind of tough to find higher ranked guys, especially heavy ones, especially old ones. Right. Right? So, you know, I'm in my 30s, and I'm a big guy, and I'm a purple belt. It's just tough to find matches. So gotcha. John hooked me up with this one, and uh, went from there. You know, it's been kind of a kind of tough flying all the way from Arkansas to get down here, but right. it's been it's been good. And uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to getting out there and getting after it. You know, it's been 10 years since I've competed. Um, you know, with all that all that stuff I did in the army. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Yeah, man, it'll be a lot of fun. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any like ritual things you you, you do? You listen to certain music? I listen to lots of different kind of music. Yeah, uh, mostly I just sleep. Sleep. That's always been my thing. Um, I remember back in 2006 ish, probably. I was in my first Naga tournament. This is way back in the day, Naga. So it was like uh, when people talk Naga rules, other you know vice IBJJF rules. Uh, like this, it was the old school like Kumite style <laughs> type Naga rules, right? Right. I remember uh, Kip, the promoter. He, I'm listening to the rules meeting one day, and he comes out. He's like, listen. If you're in the men's division, I don't care what it is. If it hurts, you better tap. It doesn't matter what it is. Nobody's <laughs> going to call it. You just tap if it hurts. And we were like, Jesus Christ. Wow. Um, but okay. yeah, so in, uh, in in that one, it was uh, it was the Georgia tournament. I was in Atlanta, and uh, that was the first time I did it. I just found a patch mat, curled, and found out where my mat was going to be at. Found a patch mat, curled up, went to sleep. My uh, teammate's like, how are you sleeping right now? I was like, what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> so, yeah, that's usually what I do. I just take a nap. That's a good move. You can serve in all your right? energy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's a great move. Luckily tonight, you know, I've just got to be good for six minutes. That's it. Yeah. Do you still do your stretch after or before? Or like, I'm uh, sure not really. I really usually don't even warm up. Wow. It's all in the sleep. It's all yeah. in the sleep. I just take a nap and get out there and get after it, man. Because, uh, I mean, at this point, I mean, yeah, sure, maybe stretching. But other than that, I mean, if I don't know it at this point, I'm kind of behind, you right, know. Right, right. <laughs> There's nothing, uh, nothing really left to do but to just get out there and get after it. That's why I love that saying, you know, if you, it's, it's you, you win or you learn, you know. And that's right. That's really the best. Yeah, and thing. I tell my students that all the time. I always, you know, I always tell them it's not necessary. They don't have to compete, but I always encourage them to because you learn more about yourself and your jujitsu in like one six-minute match of actual competition than you will in months of training. Uh, there's just stuff you just can't know about your game. Unless you're grappling with somebody who doesn't care about your feelings, mm. and that's just—I mean—that's just the way it is. Like you know, John said, you know, it's there's that when you're grappling with training partners. It's just one of those things where um, you care about that person, even if you're trying to be rough on them. There's a point where you're just like, I'm not going to break this guy's arm, right? Out there, that guy might break my arm, you know. Right. Um, so it's you know it's 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 all those things you know when you're when you really have the pressure on when there's people watching you um you know that's when the real question starts you know do i really know this stuff right exactly. what's my what's my jiu-jitsu really like under right? pressure and out there those mats they don't lie you know it's you're either good or you're not um which is fine i want to know either way um so yeah cool yeah. ladies and gentlemen please one more time a round of applause for both of these fighters all the way fighting out of the Greek corner, Felix Brown! Started off cold, plans to own one, now we own stars, the baddest. I was on tour with, that's so raw, started selling, we won't sell it no